Hey guys, uh, today I'm answering a few questions from a few people that have asked me. Um, basically, DIY solar cells. I made a small solar uh, cell, solar panel for camping, and uh, I've had a few friends ask me how to do it, and they actually ordered a bunch of cells out of China, and they have absolutely no idea how to do it. So today, I'm just going to give a quick overview on uh, easy steps to take to make sure this goes pretty smoothly. It's going to take a bit of practice. Uh, it's hard to get some of this stuff down on the first try, but uh, if you have any soldering knowledge, it generally uh, helps quite a bit. Uh, you're going to need some uh, resin core solder. It uh, melts a lot easier, uh, especially at lower temperatures. You're going to need a flux pen. Uh, you're definitely going to need a soldering station. 40 watts is probably the most optimal uh, temperature setting for this. Uh, I found 20 watts can do it, but it's very, very tricky sometimes. It cools too fast. Uh, here, I'm going to do this on a piece of glass. It makes it a lot easier. You can slide the cells around. You should never touch the cells directly with your hands, though, because it will ruin the efficiency on them. But these are just some scrap cells I have laying around. So I'm going to be using these to show you guys today. Um, aside from that, you're going to want probably a file too. And me on, my, on the tip of my soldering gun, what I did is I actually filed the tip down a little bit so that way I get a nice flat surface. Uh, you don't need to do this if you have a flat tip soldering iron to begin with, but mine was one of those pointy ones. So I gave mine just a quick filing down. And this helps also to remove some of the, the junk that builds up on this over time. But uh, all right, so uh, let's uh, get it started, and I'll show you guys how to do it. You are going to need some tabbing wire. It's basically just uh, it's a tinned piece of copper. It's very, very thin. Uh, you want to cut it about uh, a length and a half of your solar cells here. So you want to cover the full front of the cell, and then you're going to want it to come about halfway down the second, because we are going to be hooking these uh, back, back to back. So for me, I found it was easier to cut this with a pair of scissors. So very, very simple. Just line, line up your cell, measure it about, give it a quick cut. All right. So we're going to do this first one here real quick. So you take your flux pen. And what you're going to do is you're just going to draw down the middle. This is going to help the solder bond to the surface of the cell, giving it a nice good contact. Get in there. All right. Now, you want to kind of leave it, leave a little bit of a gap between the top because these are going to be back to back, and you don't want it to touch the uh, cell in front of it. Um, and I found it was definitely easier just to apply just a little bit of solder to the tip, just to get things started a bit. You can use something to weigh this down, like a, a smaller piece of glass or a, a small piece of metal. I'm just going to use my finger. Um, you probably shouldn't do it this way because you will probably burn yourself. But, uh, all right. So once we have it started, what you're going to want to do is slide it all the way down, right to the tip. Now, I did a little bit of a sloppy job on this one here, but uh, just to show you real quick. So that's the first cell right like that. So nice and easy. It's pretty strong on there. It's not going to go anywhere. Now, each one of these cells is half a volt. doesn't really matter the size. You could have a 6 inch by 6 inch cell, 2 inch by 3. These particular ones are very small. I think they're 72 mil by 18, I believe, or something along the lines of that. But uh, these are good if you're going to make like a cell phone charger or something like that. If you're looking to power something a little bit more, you should probably look into getting bigger cells. But these small cells actually are very, very good for practicing, and they don't cost a lot. So you don't have to worry too much if you break any of these. Um, all right, so for the next side, we're going to flip this over, flip this one over, same process, right where the yellow, or sorry, yellow, the right where the white pads are, you're just going to quickly draw on it a little bit, get a little bit of that flux on there. All right. Now, same steps little tiny bit of solder. You don't need much on the tip. It's just to help get it started. All right. And you're going to want to line it up as best you can. 
Slide it all the way down. Like so. I'll show you real quick. See, front to back. Nice and nice and straightforward. Uh, you basically repeat that constantly. It depends what kind of voltage you're looking for. If you're looking to charge a small uh, 12 volt battery, you should probably do about 30, 30 cells would be about an average. Um, if you're going to hook this directly to a phone, you need about 6 volt. So if that's the case, um, I'm trying to think here, it's not an exact number. Uh, 30 cells gives you usually about 17 to 18 volts, depending. So I would do at least 12 to 14 cells at a minimum if you're going to use this to directly charge a phone. Uh, really, really fun project to do. If you have some extra spare time on a weekend, I definitely recommend if you're interested in renewable energy doing this. I'm going to be working on a small panel to uh, just charge phones, uh, flashlights, different stuff like that whenever we go camping. And then I'm working on a bigger panel that I'm going to hook it up through 18 volt and 32 volt with a two-way switch on it. So we're going to find out how that goes in another project. But uh, I may review this video, go back and do maybe another one, more examples, or pro possibly some bigger cells. But this is just meant to be a quick overview of how to tab these cells and uh, get your projects going. All right, I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you later.